Hello and welcome to another Mr Spreadsheet video. All small businesses need to keep track of their income and their expenditure to monitor the ongoing progress of their business finances. In this short video, I will use basic Excel techniques to help you both record and evaluate this essential data. The completed template is very easy to use and can be expanded and adapted to suit your business needs. As usual on our videos, I will show you how to get a copy of the final template later on in this video. And if you need any help on the Excel functions that I've used, then please do leave a comment below. I hope you enjoy watching. We will start off our income and expenditure spreadsheet by creating the income section. So open up a new workbook and in cell B5 type in date. In cell C5 it's customer. In cell D5 type in reference. In cell E5 it's analysis and finally in cell F5 type in value. Now select the range B5 to F17 and from the home ribbon choose the borders tool and select all borders. Next up we will make our header row stand out a bit more. So highlight B5 to F5 and change the background colour to green, the font colour to white and make bold. Now we can use the income section as a template for the expenditure section. Simply highlight the range B5 through to F17 and click on the copy command from the home ribbon. Now select cell H5 and click on the paste tool on the home ribbon. Navigate to cell I5 and replace the word customer with the word supplier. That's great. We now have our income and expenditure tables set up. Let's quickly give these a title. Firstly, select the range B4 through to H4 and click on the Merge and Centre tool on the home ribbon. Now, Enter a name and a date of your choice, or simply copy my entries. We'll change the background colour to light green and increase the font size twice. And from the Borders tool, select All Borders. Now, with the range still active, click on the Copy command. Navigate to H4 and click the Paste command. Now change the word income to read expenses. Inspect your work and adjust the column widths such that contents of all cells are clearly visible. We can now enter some data into our two tables. You can enter in your own data or copy the entries that I've made. It might take you a minute or two to do this, so please pause the video. And once we've completed this, we will enter some totals for each section. Let's enter in our total income in cell F2. Simply select this cell and click once on the auto sum command on the home ribbon, and then highlight the range F6 to F7 and press enter. You should now have the total income in cell F2. With F2 still active, we'll increase the font size, change the background colour to mid-grey and make bold. Give the cell a border by selecting the All Borders option from the Borders tool and select the Increase Decimal tool and the Comma tool from the Number section on the Home ribbon. And finally, adjust the column width such that the number is clearly visible. We also need a total for our expenditure section. 
Now we can use the copy and paste command to do this. So select cell F2 and click on the copy command. And then navigate to cell L2 and click on the paste command. Now adjust the column width and you will find the correct total for expenses and that that cell also has the same formatting as was applied to the income total cell. To complete the income and expenditure sections, let's add in a title for each of these. Select the range C3 through to E3 and click the Merge and Centre command and enter Total Income. Make this bold and then increase the font size. Do the same for the range I3 through to K3 and enter Total Expenditure. Increase the font size and make bold. Now we have our completed income and expenditure spreadsheet. We have detailed lines for each transaction and totals for both the income and expenditure elements. To further enhance the spreadsheet, I'm going to add a summary schedule, which will give us totals for each of the income and expenditure analysis types, together with a consolidated total of income less expenses. Navigate to cell N6 and enter in sales space and then A, exactly as it is recorded in the income section. In cell N7, enter sales space B and repeat this process for sales C and sales D. In cell N10, enter the narrative total income. Now do the same for the five expense analysis types. And finally, enter the narrative total expenditure in cell N17. Hopefully, your spreadsheet will now look the same as mine. We want a total for each of these analysis types. If we refer to the income section, we can see that there are three lines that have analysis as sales A. We want the total of these transactions to be entered alongside the sales A narrative in cell N6. To do this, we're going to use Excel's sum if command. Select cell O6 and enter the command equals sum if open brackets, then select the range E6 through to E17 and enter a comma. Now point to cell N6 and enter another comma. Then highlight the range F6 through to F17 and then close the brackets. With the formula still active, select the E6 to E17 part of the formula and press the F4 key at the top of your keyboard. Hopefully you will see that E6 colon E17 changes to read $E$6 colon $E$17. Do the same for the last section of the formula F6 to F17 such that it now reads $F$6 colon $F$17. Now press the return key to complete the process. Cell O6 now populates with the sum of the three transaction lines analysed as sales A in our income section. Now please don't worry if you get this routine wrong the first time. It does take a bit of practice to get all of the components correct. Please replay the video for this section if you need to. With the correct formula in cell O6, simply drag 
and copy this down to cell 09. Now, with cell 011 selected, repeat the sum if command for the analysis of the values in the expenses section. The formula becomes equals sum if open brackets, then select the range K6 to K17, comma, then point to N11, another comma, and then the range L6 through to L17, and close the brackets. And before you press return, use the F4 key to change the first and the last part of the formula, such that they include the dollar sign before each coordinate. Press return, and then copy and drag the formula down to the final analysis type in cell 016. Let's add totals for the total income and total expenditures. Select cell P10 and using the sum command, enter in the formula equals sum open brackets, point to the range 06 to 09, close the brackets and press return. Now select cell P17 and using the same sum command, enter in the formula equals sum, open brackets, select the range 011 to 016, close the brackets and press return. Hopefully these two totals will correspond with the values in cells F2 and L2. OK, let's now enter a header and a title for this section. Select cells N5 through to P5 and merge and center these cells. Now enter the narrative income and expenditure summary then change the background color to green and align the cell contents to the left with a single right indent and from the borders tool choose all borders. Repeat this process for cells N3 through to P3 and enter the narrative as shown. Now select a background colour of light green. We'll increase the font size, make the cell bold, align the text to the left and indent this text one to the right. And finally, apply the All Borders option from the Borders tool. Now we can add a total for this section and increase the column widths such that all the contents are clearly visible. Navigate firstly to cell P2 and enter in the formula plus F2 minus L2. Navigate to cell L2 and select the Format Painter tool from the Home ribbon and apply this cell's formats to cell P2. In cell N2, enter the narrative Income, Less Expenditure. And finally, adjust all the various column widths such that all the contents are clearly visible. To end our design, let's tidy up some of the spreadsheet's formatting such that the finished product is a little more presentable. Select cell N2 and increase the font size and make bold and indent this one to the right. Select the range N6 through to N17 and once again indent this one to the right. Select the ranges N10 to P10 and N17 to P17 and change the font colour to green and make bold. Now select the range N6 through to P17 and from the borders tool select the outside borders option. Let's format all of the values 
to two decimal places. And you can do this by highlighting each range and then right clicking your mouse. And from the option, choose Format Cells. Select Number from the Category section and set this to two decimal places with the comma separator checked. Now from the Page Layout ribbon, uncheck the View Grid Lines box to give our worksheet a crisp and clear background. Finally, adjust the various column widths such that the whole spreadsheet is nicely centred and is clearly visible. Great! We're now all done. You have a section to enter your income, you have a section to enter in your expenditure, and a nice summary section to view and analyse your results. We do hope that you enjoyed our spreadsheet video and that there was lots of content that you found both useful and informative. Now, if you would like us to send you a copy of this spreadsheet file, then please subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Alternatively, please visit one of our channels on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Now, if you are a small business and want to keep your bookkeeping records in Excel, then why not watch our accounting spreadsheet tutorial? Alternatively, why not view our How to Keep Your Accounts in Excel video? This is our easy to use and inexpensive solution for your small business bookkeeping needs. Thank you once again for watching our spreadsheet video and, oh yes, please do subscribe to our channel.